So we're here at my childhood home. It's a place that I come to relax, uh, reflect on what we're trying to do with the Repair Impact Fund. We're investing in novel therapeutic agents addressing infections that otherwise would not be able to be cured with the existing batch of antibiotics we have due to resistance. So working on this problem for the last year has been one of the most meaningful and rewarding things that I have worked on in my career. We're addressing a massive unmet need. Uh, I have had family members be severely sick from infections and they've been cured by anti-infectives that work. We all depend on that and we may be facing a future where we no longer have access to working antibiotics. Plants and flowers are a good example of how you can adapt and develop new strategies. And we search for diversity in repair. Actually, I'm often coming to this beautiful place for inspiration. After our first year at Repair, I think we were very much surprised about the good reception of the project. I mean, everyone has been very positive, providing us very positive feedback about Repair. And actually, we were also surprised to see how many companies have applied to Repair, even mature companies. The way we select actually the best companies is really uh, the innovation. It's clearly the focus of repair. We want new modalities, new mechanism of action, new way to address uh, the treatment of infectious diseases. So it has been the core focus, breakthrough science and strong data. We're actually quite optimistic about also the financial impact of this fund for the long term. One thing is that resistance is increasing exponentially, so the unmet need is increasing. Secondly, we have very, very good and novel science that we're investing in. These two will meet at some point, and that should result in also positive financial returns. That may take some time, but for the medium to long term, we remain very optimistic. So, so for me, it's a huge motivation actually to work for Repair because I feel I can make a difference together with my team and we can really push forward projects that would not have been financed otherwise. We're actually fairly on track to reach our vision of investing in about 20 companies over three years.